here are the notes of the Arietas beginning. The last trilogy of sonatas was written in conjunction with Beethoven's work on the Missa Solemnis. All three have in common a new way of ending, where the last chords of Opus 101 and 106 had still concluded these works in an unequivocal manner. Opus 109 withdraws into an inner world Opus 110 ends in euphoric self-immolation, while Opus 111 surrenders to silence. Two movements in sonata form precede the superb variations of the E major sonata, Opus 109. They are fundamentally different in character. The quasi-improvised, dreamlike first movement suspends gravity. The second is an excitable outburst veering between anger and fear. In the first movement, the bass hovers in syncopation behind the notes of the melody, hardly touching the ground. In the second, it imposes itself all the more clearly, <coughs> clinging to the ground, yet unable to convey stability as it remains almost entirely rooted in the dominant. The first movement glides along in a single rhythmic pattern, interrupted by the declamatory second theme in a new tempo and time signature. It has light colors, long breath spans, and undulated contours. The second movement on the other hand is dark, flickering, and jagged, jerky, and short winding. The initial theme of the first movement, by the way, starts with an upbeat. One should feel it in the performance. <coughs> combines the essence of the first with the aspirations of the second. <coughs> and it both floats along and brings repose. Czerny wanted it played in the style of Handel and Sebastian Bach. Beethoven is said to have admired Handel above all. Handel's spirit can indeed be detected in the Sarabande-like variation theme as long as we forget about Beethoven's extremely sensitive dynamic indication. <laughs> 